The Chicago Bears take on Mitch Trubisky and the Buffalo Bills this Saturday at Soldier Field. What should we look out for in this game? Watch this video to find out. What's up guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears weekly preseason prediction videos which I'll be doing every single week during this preseason period uh, 2021 for the Chicago Bears. They won't be very long or in-depth videos just because it is preseason at the end of the day. Nobody really cares about these games. It doesn't matter if we win or lose these games but I kind of want to give you guys an overview of what to look out for in this game which players you should pay it you know pay more attention to maybe a score prediction at the end as well but let me just get into it okay so we're taking on the buffalo bills this weekend at soldier field again our second home preseason game and guys we are going to be taking on our former quarterback from the last four years mitch trubisky is going to be starting this game for the buffalo bills according to head coach sean mcdermott okay he said that josh allen stefan diggs and a lot of the first team offense and some of the first team defense as well is most likely not going to play in this game. So it's kind of just going to be a practice game for the Bills, kind of just seeing how their backups play against, you know, against our team, which is, you know, that's totally fair, obviously, because, you know, the Bills are going to be a Super Bowl contending team this year, right? So they don't have any reason to risk injury in the preseason. But it is going to be so interesting seeing Mitch Trubisky back at Soldier Field in a different uniform this early. I didn't think it would happen this early. Okay, we just got rid of him last season and he's already back here at soldier field in a different uniform starting a game against our team obviously this preseason but still okay and i'm kind of interested to see like are bears fans gonna boo mitch are they gonna just be quiet are they gonna cheer for him i highly doubt they're gonna cheer for him because he obviously was not the quarterback we expected him to be picking him at number two overall and i think that a good portion of the fan base does have some resentment towards mitch just because of how things ended up okay we never had a good offense really with Mitch so I want to see what type of crowd reaction he's gonna get if I'm guessing right now I think half the stadium is probably gonna boo him pretty loudly just because of how things ended up and I think the other half is gonna be pretty respectful personally if I was at the game I would not boo Mitch just because there are memories that we made with him even if he was not the quarterback we wanted him to be picking at number two overall but that's enough talk about Mitch okay he's our former quarterback we don't really care that much about him but it's pretty interesting to see him come back to soldier field and let's see how you know the bears defense reacts to that as well okay are they going to be extra motivated are they gonna just treat it like a normal game i mean it is only preseason so we don't really care that much about this game but i want to see what the bears players are going to like say to mitch right i also want to see what matt Nagy like is he going to talk with mitch before the game i mean we knew we knew that matt Nagy and mitch trubisky didn't really have the best of the best relationship at least at the end of that uh, 2020 season right I mean he got benched in 2020 and you know um this year also like Mitch made some comments about being more loved not more loved but he said that he felt loved in Buffalo and you know some people took that as a slight to Matt Nagy and the coaching staff with the Bears so I don't know man there's gonna be a lot of fun storylines just surrounding Mitch but looking at the Chicago Bears side of things head coach Matt Nagy said that Andy Dalton is gonna play probably a quarter and a half in this game okay so he's gonna get much more playing time than he did last weekend against the Miami Dolphins and that obviously makes sense right because right now Andy Dalton is the number one quarterback so you want to see if this guy actually has what it takes to be the starting quarterback for the Bears because so far we've only seen Andy Dalton be good in practice right last week in preseason he only got two series but he didn't look all that great in those two series so finally giving him some more playing time against probably the Bills backups right like he has to look good now in this game okay there's a lot of pressure now Andy Dalton to you know keep up with Justin Fields because right now the fan base is really starting to fall in love with Justin Fields okay a lot of fans want him to start week one now against the Rams because of what we saw in his last game and also what we've seen in training camp as well and those calls to start Justin Fields are only going to get louder if Andy Dalton again does not put up any points or does not get even a single first down like he didn't get last weekend and Again, keep in mind, it is going up against backups, so you have to play well against these backups. Otherwise, you don't deserve to be the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears, okay? So really, in this game, pay close attention to Andy Dalton. How does he play? Is he, you know, having any sort of rhythm with this offense? How accurate are his balls going down the field? Is he looking calm in the pocket? Is he making any sort of big-time throws? How's the offense flowing with him? Look at all these things, because we have to see if Andy Dalton should be a quarterback week one or not going to our other quarterback Justin Fields Matt Nagy didn't specify exactly how long he's going to play in this game but he did say that he wants to get a lot of reps going again for rookie quarterback Justin Fields so I'm assuming that he's probably going to play a quarter and a half probably around the same amount of time that Dalton plays in this game which leaves a fourth quarter then 
all to Nick Foles, which nobody really cares that much about. But talking some more about Justin Fields, guys, I really want to see him build off the performance he had last weekend against the Miami Dolphins because last weekend, you know, in the second half especially, Justin Fields looked pretty damn good, okay, with his accuracy going down the field, with his ability to make plays outside the pocket. But in this game, guys, I want to see him start a little bit faster, okay, get into a rhythm faster, maybe come out and score on the first drive. That'd be pretty neat. And, you know, pretty much just do anything you possibly can to make the decision to start Andy Dalton much harder for Matt Nagy, okay? Continue to fight for that starting spot, even if you don't think you're going to get it week one. Because I guarantee you guys, you know, Justin Fields is going to start at some point this season. I think personally it's going to be pretty early because I don't have the most faith still in Andy Dalton. Even though he's been looking pretty good in, in camp, camp is only practice, guys. In the real games, we have film on him from last year, and he didn't look all that impressive last year. He was probably average at the best, but... We're looking for great now, guys. Okay, we want a great quarterback. We want great quarterback play. And if Fields continues to improve every single week and show that improvement in this game against the Bills, he could be that guy for us. So, really looking forward to see what Justin Fields does again. I mean, this guy is the most exciting person on the team by far right now, right? Everybody wants to see what Justin Fields does. And you got to keep in mind, though, he is dealing with a groin injury right now, according to Nagy. So, he did miss practice on, I believe, Wednesday. He was totally fine though on Thursday, so it shouldn't impact him that much, but just keep an eye on that, okay? Hopefully, it's going to be totally fine, but moving on now to other parts of the team, uh, what else do I want to see? I want to see which backup receiver steps up this time, okay? Because last weekend, it was the Rodney Adams show, okay? Rodney Adams pretty much made all the impressive catches in that game, and he was pretty much the only, you know, second, third string receiver that was showing up consistently. So now I want to see, can other receivers that are fighting for their lives, can they make plays as well, John Via Johnson, he didn't really have a good week last week. He didn't really get targeted that much, and he also um, didn't do that well returning the punt, right? So can he bounce back and have a better game this week? Okay, make a big-time play, make a splash play, something like that. Also looking at the Georgia boys, okay? Both Riley Ridley and Javon Wims have struggled a lot with drops in camp so far. Can any of them step up and make a play? Both of them are on thin ice right now. Also maybe look at a guy like Daz Newsom because Daz Newsom didn't really play that much last game. Um, against the Dolphins can he step up and make plays himself right because this guy was a mid-round pick this year by Ryan Pace who we have a lot of hope for right maybe being a slot receiver maybe a starting slot receiver down the road but right now he is buried on the depth chart because he hasn't played that much so really look at which receiver steps up and claims that number four number five and number six spot on this receiving core but looking at the rest of the offense then I mainly just want to talk about the offensive line lastly I want to see how Larry Borum performs in his first preseason game because this guy was injured last week didn't play much against the Dolphins but the Bears are trying to make him a left tackle um, behind Jason Peters right so he's going to be fighting for that starting left tackle spot um, he played tackle in college so he's you know he's a natural fit at tackle but can he actually step up and maybe start at some point this season because he might have to right with how our offensive line is looking right now we pretty much lost Tevin Jenkins for a good portion of the season and Jermaine Fetty is dealing with injury as well I don't know if he's going to be available for week one so maybe if you know, Borum has a good performance here. He could either start on, you know, the left side or the right side, depending on how Jason Peters looks as well. Going over to the defensive side then, I mainly just want to see them build off the performance they had last week against the Dolphins, right? Because their defense was just on point last week, Um, you know, all, all, all throughout the game, right? Like every single member of that defense, first string, second string, and third string, they were all out there and collectively playing just like a very elite unit. So if we can force some more turnovers, if we can see our backups, like, you know, um, Kyrie's Tonga, Travis Gibson, Dion Bush, uh, Duke Shelley. Like, can these guys continue to make plays and fight for those starting jobs, right? Because they are super young. Uh, they will get chances down the road as well. But right now is the time to, you know, prove to the coaching staff that you belong and you want to make this roster, right? So hopefully the defense continues to dominate like they did last weekend. As for a score prediction for this game, I probably have the Bears winning this one by a score of 25 to 17 and I say that just because again I think Justin Fields is going to have another phenomenal performance I think that Andy Dalton is going to be okay he's probably going to score on at least one drive because he is going up against backups so we should see our you know first team offense have some level of success because we aren't going up against the best talent right so just given the fact that our first team offense is playing but their first team offense is not that should make it much easier to win this game hopefully and I also think that our backups they have been balling out there as well right like our backup defense looked ferocious out there against the Miami Dolphins our 
backup quarterback, Justin Fields. He's probably one of the better backup quarterbacks in the entire NFL because this guy was one of the best college quarterbacks of all time. So if we can see Justin Fields continue to have another, you know, stutter performance, if we can see our offense, you know, first team offense put up some points, our defense continue to ball out as well and just have everybody stay healthy as well. That's all I want to see for this game. I don't care if we actually win this game because it is only preseason, but we probably should win this game because we have our starters out there and the Bills don't. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but as always, bear down.